Good day, Sir Arthur. Your pa. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. This is... Is it cold in here? I'm having trouble staying warm. Ever since the Fade and that... thing inside Fainreal. Any ill effects? It keeps drifting back. I can feel the... want of it. It must have been strong to turn you. Strong's not the word. I can deal with strong. This was... I don't know. It took a memory I was at peace with and... Well... If that's what mages contend with, I'm less opposed to the gallows. Locking up all mages goes too far. I thought we agreed on that. I don't know. Who could resist that? Anders didn't, and seems quite proud of the fact. Merrill aches for some sort of bargain. It's obvious. I'm left to think. Majors are either willful in a way I can't understand, or not mortal. I don't find either comforting. I don't want to think about it. What's the Captain of the Guard doing in the Fade anyway? We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. You had to know cleaning up this mess would be difficult. It's not the challenge, it's the unending part. And really, I blame you. You poured money into a pot that was already full. Everything has shifted. Good job validating the fears of every anti Ferelden and Kirkwall. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people. Not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen. I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just... Hawk, I need... a favor that I can only trust to you. You can always ask. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Very well, Aveline, if it means that much. Thank you, and please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk, I really do.
Guardsman Donick. Sir Hawk. It's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Just keep it. I'm sure it's more than it seems. It would have to be. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do. Of varying import. Sir Hawk. Why did Aveline want us to give him that? You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? As one might expect when confused. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. This is weird. Right? Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working those skinnings across town. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? pet? Chase, it's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Don't be silly. A dowry would only matter if you were courting him. Ah, oh, Meryl. <gasps> You're courting him! Aveline, you know you can talk to me. What am I to say? That a grown woman can't speak her mind. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. But you've done it before. Uh, um, I mean, been married. And that was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. The guards are in my care. I hurt when they hurt. But Donick... I want him to know that I feel... But if something happened to him... Something already happened. And he's fine. If it made sense, I wouldn't need you. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Sounds like you're ready to move on. It's been four years since Wesley. Stop trying to protect me. I've made my peace. He'd want me to live. What makes Donick so special when someone closer to you might be interested? Nothing. Not a thing. Not rich, not the most skilled. I dare say he's not even the best looking. But he's... something. He's not like the others. If any of us could choose, it'd be so much easier.
So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? I am diligent on behalf of my men. And I've neglected many other things. I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to... it wouldn't help. Being in the barracks doesn't help. Go somewhere you can talk. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? I know I wouldn't turn you down. Tell Donick. Invite him to the hanged man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Sarah Donick, are you free? I need to ask you something. I have no immediate patrols. Why? It's nothing to be concerned about. Meet me at the Hanged Man. Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll see you there. Did he just... No. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. Spending. It's a bit over your head, isn't it? That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're going to show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. So, someone paid you to take a Canari delegate? I made a good wage for looking away while someone tamed a hornhead. So what? They said I should watch out for sympathizers. Traitors. You want something? Take it from me and my new friends. You're on your own, pal. That's loyalty for you. Come on. I'll deal with this! If your people were... This isn't necessary, you know. What? What do you want? I just did what he said. It was more coy than I've ever seen. That's very good. Now just tell me who and where. Templar. It was a Templar. I didn't get the name. We met near the Chantry. He, he said taking these Kunari was serving the Maker. I swear, he even had the seal of the Grand Cleric. True is true. A fine joke, that. A Templar. Serving the Grand Cleric, no less. Great. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change. Apparently. 
Right. Look, I should really, um... Just give it a moment. Another round. Make a yes. So, Aveline is great. Look, if this was all a plan for you to get closer to the captain, maybe you should just talk to her. I mean, how sad would it be if you needed a go-between? Have some backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I arranged this to get to you. I'm an idiot. If you were that far gone, you'd have hidden from the start. Would it have ended any worse? I need to talk to him. But I'm a mess unless I'm on patrol. I'm good at that. Killing high women doesn't exactly provide an intimate setting, though. And I'm tired of embarrassing myself. I think you're onto something there. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I will think of something to say. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. Kirkwall needs me. If nothing else, you give this town respectability, my friend. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Hawk, I've got some news. You might not want to be near anything breakable when I tell you, though. Varric, whatever you have to tell me, it'll be fine. I know, I know. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the deep roads, he ran to Ravain, probably because he knew I couldn't track him. But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. Was he staying in Hightown, or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good, he has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. How are you holding up, Varric? <laughs> Me? My no-account backstabbing brother is practically in arm's reach. I couldn't be better. Would Bartrand really risk coming back here? I think we both know by now that Bartrand would risk anything for money. There's a much better market here for that trinket he stole. And all his contacts are in Kirkwall. We need some answers from your brother. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. Isabella, you look well. 
Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. The search for this thing has consumed you. Let it go. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? I saw it and thought it would be perfect for you. It is. This is probably the only ship I'm going to have for a while. Ah, <sighs> how pathetic is that? Going over a model ship. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. Hello, Emmerich. Aveline says you need my help again. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Is this man in hiding? Am I to find him for you? No, I know where Dupuy is. I just can't get to him. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well... They rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women, and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It should be investigated, at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, 
find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple.